السلام علیکم السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ السلام علیکم وعلیکم السلام و رحمۃ اللہ How are you, Brother Farooq? Long time no see. <clears throat> Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Good, good to hear that. Assalamu alaikum to everyone. Jazakumullah khairan again for joining us. May Allah bless you all. Please all our great uh, brothers and sisters, thank you so much for your patience. We'll start inshallah right now. And our imams and speakers, please unmute yourself or at least uh, open your camera. So we'll call you inshallah when uh, your time will uh, be there. Jazakumullah khair brother Ayman, ICH president for joining us and for your help and support. Well, the video, the video one. Brother Amr, you are doing all right? Alhamdulillah, Shaykh. Alhamdulillah. How are you doing? Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. I didn't hear you from you for a while. Alhamdulillah. All is good, Alhamdulillah. How's everybody doing? MashaAllah. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Rabbil Alameen. MashaAllah. These are beautiful gatherings, MashaAllah. Zakallah. Allah Yubarak. Alhamdulillah. SubhanAllah. The excellent occasion also. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the Tajweed Intensive Program. I'm so glad to be with you all in this amazing Quran journey. We'll see you soon, inshallah, in the class over Zoom. May Allah reward you all. May Allah bless you and your children. Writing the stages of documenting the glorious Quran, the first step is writing each paragraph as soon as it was sent down in front of presents. See it? It being puppets, may Allah be pleased with him, said, I used to write the revelation while I was with the messenger of.
books to me. When I would finish, he would say, read, and I would read. If there was a fault, he would correct it. And then I would go out to convey it to the people. And this Yes, now I will read the class now will open the doors for us and will help us to recite Quran Karim and to go to uh, Shuyukh, to go to some reciters to help us to recite Quran Karim. The rules of Mim Sakina. We have Shafawi, Ikhfa Shafawi, Idhar Shafawi, Mim, Idram Shafawi, Mim with Mim, Ikhfa Shafawi, Mim with. Hey, Jazakallah Khairan. Inshallah, we'll start. We'll call, Inshallah, the first, Inshallah, speaker, our Imam and Sheikh Farooq Malik. Inshallah, best of, because we have, Mashallah, many speakers, I would like to ask, Inshallah, our speakers and Imams to make it short, Inshallah, as uh, much, uh, yani, Three minutes, five minutes, inshallah, max. Uh, so we'll pray Maghrib, inshallah, uh, after our session. Thank you again for joining us, uh, Imam Sheikh Joe. Thank you again for joining us. May Allah bless you. Our speakers and Imams, please uh, uh, open your cameras so we will know that you are here with us. All brothers and sisters, you are also free. Feel free to open your camera, inshallah. Bismillah, Sheikh Farooq. Unmute yourself, please. Are you going to start the meeting right now, inshallah? Yes, we start already, and inshallah, we are listening to you. Can we, can one of your students recite a few verses from the Holy Quran so that we can start it? Uh, inshallah, we didn't plan for Quran now, but if you don't... If you, but every, every meeting has to start with Talaam of the Quran. We'll do that, inshallah, right now. Yalla, bismillah. Yalla, ya Muhammad, iqra ba'd al-ayat. Read few ayat, inshallah. Bismillah. Yes, sir. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن هذا القرآن يهدي للتي هي أقوى ويبشر المؤمنين ويبشر المؤمنين الذين يعملون الصالحات أن لهم أجرا كبيرا وأن الذين لا يؤمنون بالآخرة أعتدنا لهم عذابا أليما وَيَدْعُ الْإِنسَانُ بِالشَّرِّ دُعَاءَهُ بِالْخَيْرِ وَكَانَ الْإِنسَانُ عَجُولًا وَجَعَلْنَا اللَّيْلَ وَالنَّهَارَ آيَتَيْنِ فَمَحَوْنَا آيَةَ اللَّيْلِ وَجَعَلْنَا آيَةَ النَّهَارِ مُبْصِرَةً لِتَبْتَغُوا, لتبتغوا فَضْلًا مِّنْ رَبِّهِ 
ربكم ولتعلموا عدد السنين والحساب وكل شيء فصلناه تفصيلا وكل إنسان ألزمناه طائره في عنقه ونخرج له يوم القيامة كتابا يلقاه منشورا اقرأ كتابك كفى بنفسك اليوم عليك حسيبا صدق الله العظيم جزاك الله خير محمد ما الله بلسيو إن شاء الله thank you so much شيخنا شيخ فاروق بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. عليكم السلام. نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم. ما بعد فاوز بالله من الشيطان الرجيم. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. ورد للقرآن ترتيلا. صدق الله العظيم. I just wanted to first of all congratulate the team and the students and brother Habi. No. at least the first course which we have in ISDH for Tajweed. And uh, mashallah, that many students have joined it. And this is one of the best things we can Can everybody hear? Yes, yes, we, we can hear you. Okay, inshallah. So I just wanted to bring to attention to the students and ourselves one more thing. One first thing is that the recitation of the Holy Quran. Quran has basic four rights. The very first right, Alhamdulillah, you have worked on it and get it, you know, having the tirat and pronunciation in a proper way. And that is the first of the rights of the Holy Quran out of the four basics. One is tirat. The second one is talawat. Talawat yatlu is to understand and follow. I believe that, inshallah, these students which have been in Tajweed, they are going to get to the next step also to understand its meanings and to un follow the directions which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has revealed. The third of that is tadabbur, afalaya tadabbur al Quran, to make tadabbur and see why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give this order and how we can implement in our life to make our life better here and in the hereafter. And the fourth one is Balagat, to convey it to the others. So here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying that those people, Allah ta'inahu al-kitab, yatlunahu haqqa tilawat. Those people who are given the book, they read it, they make talawat, talawat yatlu is to understand, as it should be recited. It should be read. So main thing is that may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us that we also join those classes which are teaching the, uh, you know, the uh, translation of the Holy Quran. The, I was just quoting the other, other way, other day in one of the meeting and I said the greatest in actually disservice to Islam as done by our Muslim rulers. Okay. When it was revealed, everybody could understand Arabic. That was their mother tongue. They know what Allah SWT is saying, what Rasulullah said. But as when the Islam spread to the different countries, the rulers did not make Arabic language a mandatory, you know, to understand and to learn. Although they made English mandatory, but they never made Arabic mandatory. I'm not saying that we, you should have fluency in Arabic, but at least every Muslim has the uh, responsibility to understand Arabic that much to understand the Quran and the Sunnah. It should have been a mandatory language. And I'm recently really pleased the uh, last week that Pakistan, for the first time, that made it mandatory to understand the Quran without, and they are not going to award any degree without that. I hope that we implement it, inshallah. So I have very, I pray for every one of you people who have graduated from this, our graduation right now, 
to please also make the effort to understand and follow. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help all of us. We have, alhamdulillah, ulama in our, most of our centers, and they are available for the classes which you would like to request. And I really admire Brother Yahabi's uh, initiative in this. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give him long life, good health, that we can benefit from him. Jazakallah khair. MashaAllah, thank you so much, Imam Sheikh Farooq, Mike, for your uh, wonderful uh, words and advice. May Allah bless you, grant you long, long life, good health, and increase you in knowledge and hikmah, Ya Rabbil Alim. Jazakallah khair. We really appreciate your presence and your uh, dua. I uh, would like to, uh, again, uh, thank you everyone and welcome everyone in, in, on behalf of ISGH. And I would like to thank you also, uh, ISGH, for their help and support this program under their, uh, mashallah. Uh, Brother Ayman Kabir, he, he, he supports uh, every program and any program uh, we, we, we do. May Allah bless him, inshallah ta'ala. We have Brother Ayman, I will call him, inshallah, later. I would like to call our beloved Sheikh, Sheikh Joe Bradford, inshallah, for also to listen to his uh, wisdom and his words, inshallah. Bismillah, alhamdulillah. Salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa ashabihi wa man wa lahu wa ba'd. Allah ta'ala wa nunazzilu min al-Qur'an ma huwa shifa wa rahmatun lil-mu'mineen. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Oh, my God. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and we send down from the Qur'an that which is healing and a mercy for the believers. Our interaction with the Quran as believers is something that is as essential to our lives as eating and drinking every day. And in fact, when we look through the statements of our pious predecessors, the earliest Muslims from the companions of the Prophet وسلم, and those who came after them to the great Imams of Islam, they all used this metaphor in different ways. So for example, the great companion of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiallahu anhu, he said, Inna hadha al-Qur'an ma'dubatullahi fi ardihi faman dakhalahu, okay, faman dakhala fihi kana amina. Whoever, or he said that this Qur'an is Allah's dinner party in this earth. So whoever enters into that, into that meeting, then he's safe. We also find, for example, another statement of Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, where he gives us the metaphor of the vessels that are used in that party when he says, He said, Indeed, these hearts are vessels. So fill them with the Quran and do not fill them with anything else. And it's recorded. <clears throat> Excuse me, it's reported from Al Imam al Shafi'i, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, that he used to say, Tilawatul Quran, Ta'amalu fi ilal al Fuadi, Kama Yamalu la Asalu fi ilal al Ajsad. Recitation of the Quran works to heal the sicknesses of the heart, just as honey works to heal the sicknesses of the body. And Muhammad ibn Wasir gave us another example, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, one of the tabi'een, when he said, Al-Qur'anu bustanu al-'arifin, faman, aw, fa'ayna ma hallu minhu, hallu fi nuzha. The Qur'an is the garden of those who are in the know, the people of, the, 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 those who have knowledge of Allah. Any place that they stop therein, they will be, they will be in a place of enjoyment. Why do I mention all of these athar? And I know that Dr. Rehabi Jazala Khair wants us to be brief. Why do I mention all of these? Because your approach to the Quran is very much dependent upon the importance that you see of it in your life. It should be as important to you as how you socialize with people at a dinner party. It should be as important to you as you going on your vacation and enjoying your time. It should be as important to you as what you put in the dishes and the cups and the glasses that you drink and that you eat from. It should be as important for, for, for you as anything that you commonly find in your, in, in, in your life. In fact, it's reported from one of the companions of the Prophet وسلم, that he used to say, He said, I feel shy 
to, for one day to pass, and I haven't looked in Allah's covenant that he has given to me, meaning the Quran. So let us take these metaphors that we've been given and think of them deeply. How important is the Quran in our life? And I want to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless us to all become people of the Quran, to bless Dr. Rihabi for being one of the people of the Quran in our city. He's a hidden gem. He's someone who, alhamdulillah, I don't believe that we have even understood the extent of benefit that can be taken from him. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala benefit us through him and benefit him through us and bless all of those students that have diligently gone through this Tajweed course. You're now at the very beginning of your path. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you to be people that read the Quran at all times of the day and the night are those who recite it beautifully and act according to its meanings. Ameen wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyin Muhammad. Thank you so much, uh, Sheikh Joe. May Allah bless you. May Allah bless your family. May Allah bless your efforts. And thank you so much for your kind words and your encouragement. Jazakumullah khairan. Uh, we have, mashallah, more than 170 brothers and sisters. The age between 14 and 78, 79, mashallah, brothers and sisters those who participated in this class, uh, Tajweed class uh, in morning uh, Arabic and evening, evening uh, English class. Uh, mashallah, they, they did a great job, amazing job, mashallah. Uh, many questions every time, uh, their homeworks. And some of them, they always they ask about homeworks. I know some students, they don't like to ask about homeworks. But some of them, mashallah, always kept asking about the homeworks, practicing, may Allah bless them all, mashallah. I learned from them uh, the niyyah and the himma and the, the will they need to learn and the, how to seek knowledge and improve their skills. May Allah bless them all. So we have, inshallah, uh, Sheikh Hassan, then the brother Abdul Razak, uh, and uh, I will keep brother Ayman later, inshallah ta'ala, because uh, our president, the president of ISGH, uh, we need to hear from him, inshallah, as a miskul kitam, inshallah. May Allah bless him and his effort. Sheikh Hassan, bismillah. Jazakum Allah khair. Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salamu ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in. Thank you so much for inviting us and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept from you the effort that you're doing for the community uh, as the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said khayrukum man ta'allam al-qur'an wa allama the best among you is the one who uh, learning the quran and teaching it to other and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept from you and just to uh, continue on what the what sheikh uh, joe bradford was mentioning about the importance of the quran the Prophet said, This Quran is really Shifa. It is Shifa for our hearts, our dead and sick hearts in these times of fitna, in this time of challenge, in this time of calamities. The heart will find peace and rest, open, engaging with the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's why Ibn Mas'ud radiallahu an. He said something very important. He said, Utlub qalbak fi salathati anwa. He said, find your heart, O Mawatin, find your heart in three, in three areas. Find your heart, open the recitation, or when you listen to the Quran being recited, that give life to our hearts, that nourish our spirit, that nourish our connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then he said, the next one, he said, in the Julus Dhik, while you're sitting and listening to Dhik. And where is the, what is the greatest Dhik? The greatest Dhik, of course, is the Quran, is the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And last and not least, he said, find your heart when you are alone in seclusion with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And oftentimes that happens when you are alone and you are interacting with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you're citing the book of Allah. So the Quran, in all aspects that you can find it, it is really what we need in this time of challenge, in this time of difficulties. I happen to be an example. I have, subhanAllah, uh, a chance of reciting the Quran with Shaykh Mamduh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless him. And many people were asking me, how did you find the time? You were having two jobs. You work in the fire department. You have 24-hour shift. You get up from there. You went to work. How did you find a time to recite the book of Allah with him? And I said, subhanAllah, because I made the Quran the center of everything, 
out of the result of that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who is in control of time, made the time to run around my schedule. So if you make the Quran your priority, then everything else, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will subject it to you. So this is the start of a journey, but the journey of the Quran is until we meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So it is until we meet. When I just started, and I'll finish with that, reciting the Quran with one of my first sheikh, I used to be in hurry, trying to finish, trying to finish. He said, why you are in such a hurry? This is going to be with you until you meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So it is for your entire life. May Allah accept from us and may he forgive us for our shortcomings. Wa sallallahu ala sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in. Jazakallah khair, Sheikh Hassan, and thank you so much. May Allah bless you and your efforts. Uh, we have Sheikh Iyad, and I know he will, all of us will go to pray Maghrib, but uh, maybe he has no other Imam to pray instead of him at Masjid. So we'll call him, inshallah, to uh, have his words, inshallah, before he go to uh, Maghrib prayer. Fadal ya Sheikh Iyad. Jazakumullahu khairan, Akhi al-Aziz, Dr. Rehabi, may Allah reward you for your efforts. Uh, like Dr. Rehabi said, inshallah, it will only take a couple of minutes. Uh, first of all, bismillah, alhamdulillah, salatu wassalamu ala rasulillah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Um, number one, I think what Dr. Rehabi did actually was something I have been trying to do, but mashallah, he's more talented than I, looks like. Uh, mashallah, to get all these people um, and have the patience. I cannot really think of anything that can be greater than learning the book of Allah. As, as a Muslim, what can be better than that? So especially when you try to learn that tajweed and the correct recitation, this is the beginning, of course, in a long journey. Um, inshallah, I hope that nobody stops at this point and we take it to the next level, which is maybe memorize some of the surahs, maybe... Uh, I mean, I, I think we all read Qulu Allahu Ahad in every rak'ah almost, maybe Qulu A'udhu Barb al sometimes. So uh, it's good to have more options, inshallah ta'ala. Now, like that is a thing many people know, I am <laughs> the... <laughs> we never get spots in a car. No, uh, I mean, that's nobody ever does. It's not sure. So uh, I, I am the man with the story. So I'll tell you a short story like I normally do. One minute, inshallah, and I will end with that. Uh, one thing I noticed about our communities uh, everywhere is that the love of the Quran is beyond our imagination. Maybe other things, people can be different. But when it comes to the Quran, I have touched that everywhere I go. Muslims love the book of Allah. And sometimes all they need is some encouragement and maybe a little push. And mashallah, Dr. Rehabi did a great job. May Allah reward him. Quick story, actually, about a young man who lived in Egypt, small village in the Sa'id. I don't know for those Egyptians who know this, it's like a... The remote areas of the villages, very poor people, but very, very uh, honest. And their love for the Quran and the Islam is, is great. So one small kid who he had a dream, which is to become a hafiz of the Quran. And we see how today, subhanAllah ta'ala, our kids, uh, seven, eight year old, you ask them, what are your dreams for the future? How many of them will say, I want to be a hafiz of the Quran? So anyhow, in his village, they did not have a sheikh that teaches the Quran. He had to travel to another village. So he goes there, he goes to the village after traveling for a good distance um, with his older brother. They went there, he goes to meet the sheikh at his house. The sheikh noticed that the kid is uh, from a different village and he seemed quite poor. So the sheikh asked him, can you afford to pay the fee? The kid said, no, I, I can barely afford to buy food for myself and my brother. So if you can do this as sadaqah, I will appreciate it. Actually, the sheikh was not very happy with the answer. And um, of course, we're not going to talk about, you know, uh, getting paid for teaching the Quran. That's a different thing. But anyhow, the, he says, no, he says, I, I cannot teach you if you don't pay, pay the fee. The kid goes back uh, home and he gets, he was really sad and heartbroken. He made a sincere dua to Allah and made a lot of salah on the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam before he went to bed. In the dream, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam comes to him and he tells him, he tells the kid, next day, go to the sheikh and don't, don't say anything. Just go and ask him to teach you the Quran again. So the kid goes to the sheikh, just like the dream um, told him. And uh, the sheikh opens the door and he welcomes him with open arms, unlike the day before. 
he invites him in, would you like me to get you something? He was like a completely different person. So the, of course, the kid is completely surprised. It's like, uh, what happened? This is not the same sheikh from yesterday or what? He taught him the first day. He didn't say anything. As the kid was about to leave at the end of the day, the kid asked the sheikh, he said, I, I cannot stop wondering. Yesterday, you did not seem to be very friendly. And today you are, you know, inviting me inside your house, bringing me food. So I wonder what happened just throughout the night, last night. The sheikh said, don't worry about it. Please come back tomorrow and I will teach you the Quran. The kid insisted. He said, I cannot leave until you tell me. He said, well, since you insist last night, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi came to me in the dream and he told me, if you want to get my shafa'a on the day of judgment, you better teach this kid. So he said, and I need the shafa'a of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Who does it? So may Allah give us the shafa'a of our beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, all of us, and the Quran can be the key to that. Finally, the first complaint the Prophet will have against his ummah on the day of judgment is in Surah Al-Furqan. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم وقال الرسول يا رب إن قومي اتخذوا هذا القرآن مهجورا. The Rasul will say, Oh my Lord, my my قوم. He was not talking about some other people. My people, and he did not say they they stayed away from the Quran. They abandoned مهجور هجرة migrated away from the Quran, which is a very powerful word. That will be his complaint about us. Uh, having a good connection with the Quran is the key. Jazakum Allah khairan. And like Dr. Rahabi said, I will have to excuse myself. May Allah reward you all and accept every letter you recite from the Quran. Put that on the scale of your good deed. Jazakum Allah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam. Jazakum Allah khairan, Shaykh Iyad. May Allah bless you and your efforts. And thank you so much for your advice and for the story. May Allah bless you. Alameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. I'd like to share with you the second part from the uh, video, inshallah. Recite without any gunna. Hum fiha. Don't say hum fiha. Okay. Ilhar. We call it ilhar. 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 Asa. Asa. Maybe. Perhaps. But asa. Meaning disobey. Or asa that the stick. There is different between asa and asa. So we will go to layer the. Uh, heavy letters and light letters. Uh, don't feel shy to ask any question. Don't feel shy to unmute yourself to recite when I ask you, inshallah. Uh, to get benefit from this class, we need to practice. We need to uh, read. Uh, all of you uh, are able to, inshallah, to improve your recitation, to improve your tajweed. Okay, an approximate articulation point, example, the lengthening alif. A specific articulation point, example, the letter da. Okay, so say with me, please, all. Ed, Ed, Ed. Assalamu alaikum. Aaudhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Kitabillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Waqad dakhalu, waqad dakhalu, balaka, balaka krimuna, yudrikum, yukrih, yukrih kunna. Very good, mashallah. Yukrih kunna. Yes, yes, jazakillah khair. Thank you. From each part of these, we have different letters. And it's very important to know the letters. Throughout letters, Hamza ha, Ayn ha, Ghayn kha. Hamza ha, Ayn ha, Ghayn, Ghayn kha. We call it Huruf al Halqa. It is little Noon. Hami. Basi. Perfect, mashallah. Jazakallah. Don't say dikrak. Say hamas. Dikrak. Okay. Tayyib, inshallah, we'll call by the name of Allah. Now, Brother Abdul Razak, Haruna. Bismillah, Shaykh Abdul Razak. Bismillah, Rahman, Rahim. Inna alhamdulillah. Wa salatu wa salam ala Rasulullah. Wa alihi wa sahabihi wa man wala. Rabbi shrahli sadri wa yasrili amri wa ahdulu kitada min disani yafka wa qawli. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, this indeed is an auspicious moment uh, in many respects, uh, especially in our city. I see this as, um, as I listen to everyone of the issue, the image has come into my mind, goes back, uh, and I wanted to just travel with me for a second. It goes back 1, about 1,400 years ago. 
and the realization that every every harf and every ayat that you have learned how to recite pro properly is the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that was brought down from above the seven heavens. So therein is a connection and the weight and, and how, how this is so important is a realization that this is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's words and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's commands to us and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's guidance to us. And so this is, this is the weighty thing that uh, is before us. And this is the weighty thing that you have embarked on a journey to appreciate, uh, learn, and, and, and we pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep you steady on this path of knowledge, inshallah bidnillah, for whoever is placed upon this path, Allah makes easy for him or her the path to Jannah. And this is the realization that I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bring for yourselves and for everyone that it's uh, part and parcel of this project and for everyone that will be part and parcel of this project until Yama Qiyama, inshallah. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant this. And one, one advice I would like to give is knowing that in obviously you have um, actions are judged according to intention. So you have formed a concrete intention to start on this journey. And as you proceed on this journey, this intention, uh, which I believe is sincerely to seek the face of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be tested as you go. And the sincerity uh, of that to him will be tested. And so I, I, I invite you to constantly uh, refresh your near on a daily basis as you approach the, 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 this, this path that you have chosen that Allah has placed you upon, which Allah has accepted and made easy for you and continue to refresh and continue to walk in that path of uh, living the, 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 the intention and sincerity for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the reward for that is huge. Um, only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, whose storehouse is limitless, uh, can grant the reward. So I, I pray that Allah keeps, keeps you sincere on this path and to keep the journey easy for you and to bless each and everyone who has been part and parcel from the, the shuyukh uh, to the organization and to the platform and the forum, and importantly, the family uh, also who supports you in this journey. And now you are a source of, of illumination in your family. You're a source of illumination in our community. You're a source of illumination in our, in our city and in our society. And being a strategist myself, uh, the, the end goal is Jannah, inshallah. So continue, continue to stand on that and walk on a day-to-day -day basis with that strategy and that end goal in mind. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant this for you. Um, barakallahu feekum. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Jazakallah khair, brother Abdul Razak. May Allah bless you, inshallah, and your efforts. And thank you so much for your speech. We have two minutes, two and a half minutes, inshallah, video as well here. I wanted to correct my Quran recitation and have been trying YouTube videos without a teacher. Uh, Alhamdulillah, when I got the opportunity to attend this Tajweed course, I believe it made a huge difference in my recitation. Beautiful channel. If I were to put everything that I learned into one video in Tajweed class, I would start off by saying that I learned what Tajweed is, why Tajweed is so important, the different rules of Tajweed, and the different rules of Mim Sakina, including Idogham, Ibhar, Ikhfa, and Qalb. And also the most prominent mistakes that we make when pronouncing specific letters and words in the Quran. And also how to pronounce specific letters and words in the Quran. How to use different parts of your mouth, throat, and nose to pronounce letters in the Quran. And also the different types of stretchings and lengths of words and letters in the Quran. And that will be all. Jazakallah khairan. Assalamu alaikum. Myself and my wife partook in the first intensive Tajweed session of 2021 with Sheikh Rihadi. MashaAllah, since taking the, uh, the intensive Tajweed course, we've seen a lot of improvements uh, in, in, in our recitation of the Quran. Uh, a couple of things were very, very helpful uh, during the course. Uh, the structure of the course was one that catered for both Arabic and non-Arabic speakers. 
uh, Sheikh Rehabi was patient and knowledgeable enough to kind of carry the whole class with him um, as we go through the course. The way the course was designed, the, the book, the practice during the class, for example, for Maharaj, uh, the homework, quizzes, and on top of that, the way Dr. Irhabi taught us was great, mashallah. Um, in addition, um, the timing of those classes, being that some classes were during the morning and some were during the evening, were very, very helpful, especially for some of us that you know go to, to work sometimes. So it accommodated kind of the different um, time and schedules of individuals. Um, I would highly recommend this Tajweed program with a teacher who really knows the complete science of Tajweed. Um, over the, I believe, 36 hours uh, and 14 to 16 weeks that we took the course, we were kind of able to cover, you know, um, novice uh, elements to expert elements, which makes it very, very helpful as we went through and came back to practice at home. Um, there were good homeworks and, and practice exercises while we were on the course and also to take away with uh, that would help you, inshallah, improve uh, your, 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 your Quranic recitation. I absolutely enjoyed the Tajweed class in English uh, with Dr. Erhabi. Um, from the first session, I gained tremendous knowledge, insight, um, and I saw myself improving as I progressed in the Quran. Uh, the instructor is dedicated to the success of his students, and it really shows. He has a great balance of energy, patience, and, and an excellent abundance of knowledge in the Tajweed course. Um, I would recommend this class for any level of student uh, with Tajweed experience. Jazakallah khair, assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. Jazakumullah khairan and thank you for your uh, kind word. And may Allah bless you all, inshallah ta'ala. I would like to call now Brother Anis al-Haq, inshallah ta'ala. Imam Sheikh Anis al-Haq, a few words, inshallah ta'ala. Jazakumullah khairan, Sheikh. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah rabbil alameen. Wa salatu wa salamu ala rasooli al-Kareem. Nabiyyina wa habibina wa shifi'ina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa ashabihi wa man tabi'ahum bi ihsanin ila yawm al-Din. Uh, I'll keep it brief. I know many of you have to leave for Maghrib and uh, I myself, I need to go and pray, inshallah. But um, a couple of points, you know, following up all these mashayikh, there's not much that I can say, but uh, some things that came to my mind is that one, uh, just some advice to the, the students that have already completed this course, you know, mashallah, you have already taken that, that first step that so many people that they may have dedicated their whole lives to even memorizing and reciting the Quran, but they never took that step to learning how to recite it properly. So this even puts you above uh, those people because you put in that effort to make sure that your recitation is correct. You know, you may find many people that are even um, half of the Quran, but they don't, they can't even recite uh, Surah Al-Fatiha correctly. So this is something that, you know, mashallah, barakallah, you have taken that step and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept from you all. Because, you know, um, it may not be their fault. They may not have had that opportunity to learn uh, correctly. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in the Quran, dik in kuntum la right? If we don't know something, we have to ask those who know. So if we don't know how to recite Quran, we can't just find somebody that maybe they know how to recite Quran, but they don't. They can't do it correctly. So we go and find and seek out those people who are qualified and learn from them. You know, uh, Ashallah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed us with the presence of uh, Sheikh Dr. Rihabi to be able to provide this program for, for the community, which is great, Mashallah, because so many people, especially the older we get, the more difficult we find it to uh, sit down and, and correct our own recitation with the teacher. So that, that's number one. Most important thing is that when we want to learn something, that has to do with, with this deen, with this religion, we need to make sure we go to the correct sources, we find a teacher. And, and secondly, now that you all have completed this course, uh, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't stop there with your recitation. You need to find a teacher, now that you know the rules, you need to find a teacher with whom you can recite the Quran every day and be able to recite uh, correctly with them so that they can correct your recitation. You know, even myself, I'm I'm still reciting to a teacher, mashallah. You know, there's so many teachers available here. Um, uh, one of the sheikhs he mentioned that he reads to Sheikh Mandu, another another uh, uh, other teachers that are available around the city are are there to be able to listen to your Quran to help you memorize, help you recite, 
and correct your tajweed. Um, because you know, Allah subhanahu wa does says does say in the Quran, Waratilil Quran at Tartila and Surah Al Muzammil. And some of the scholars they mention that Waratilil Quran at Tartila means to recite with tajweed. And we know that for the one who recites and memorizes the Quran, some of the scholars say that this is fardain, an individual uh, obligation. So not only do we did, did we take that first step in learning tajweed, we have to take it even further now. We can't stop there. And in taking this first step, we have to help those behind us catch up to us. So now we need to make sure that those around us that recite the Quran, we teach them how to the, the rules and how to recite properly. You know, especially something like Surah Al-Fatiha, right? Something that we recite every single uh, rakah in, in, in our salah. So we need to not only learn, but teach as well. You know, just like Dr. Uh, Rihabi, mashallah, has taught all of us, we have to now impart that knowledge to others so that others can benefit as well. And, you know, inshallah, Sheikh Na Doctor can also benefit from those who, who learn from, from you all now. So I saw Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept from all of us to accept from uh, Doctor to um, uh, accept our good deeds and to forgive us for our mistakes and our sins. Uh, Jazakallah khairan, Sheikh Anis, and thank you so much. Zadakallahu unsan. May Allah increase you in uns and haq, mashallah, in dunya and akhir. May Allah bless you, mashallah. Uh, we have Brother Sheikh Farooqi and uh, for, uh, Brother Hafiz Farhan said they are praying Maghrib and they will join us, inshallah. They were here with us, but they will join us again, inshallah, in a few minutes. But I would like to share now with you uh, the names of those, our brother, brothers and sisters, those who uh, participated uh, and took the final, the test. Uh, may Allah bless them. This is uh, the, their names. I would like to share it with you, inshallah, here. Bismillah. <laughs>
Zakim Allah khairan. May Allah bless you all. Inshallah, and congratulations to all of brothers and sisters. Everyone participated in this class, even if he didn't take the final or the, the final test, uh, he will get benefit from this class. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Uh, brother uh, Muhammad Al Farooqi, if you are here, please unmute yourself. Oh, brother Furqan Sayyid, Sheikh Furqan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullah. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Wa salatu wa salam ala Sayyidil Anbiya wa Mursaleen Muhammadin wa alihi wa sahbi ajma'in. Alhamdulillah, my dear brothers and sisters, first of all, I want to say congratulations to all the students who participated in the Tajweed class by our Shaykhana, Dr. Rihabi, Alhamdulillah. I'm sure you all have learned lots and grew your connection uh, with the Holy quran Kareem. My dear brothers and sisters, I just want to take a few minutes to talk to you about the importance of this Azim Kitab from Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, the Quran Kareem is the speech of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, and how lucky and valuable you are to be able to recite uh, this word of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. If you think about it uh, deeply, you will feel enlightened uh, that. Uh, you are being blessed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to recite his word. Literally, you are restating the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There is not a bigger blessing than that. And my dear brothers and sisters, Tajweed is such an important set of rules. Each and every single one of us must know. You know, many times uh, people, they think if somebody uh, has a good voice or they are stretching the Quran here and there uh, that they are reciting nicely. But the most important is reciting with the Tajweed, reciting the Quran properly. For example, the word Kalb, which means dog. Many times in the Quran, you'll find the word Qalb, which means heart with Qaf. But if you recited kalb with the calf, it becomes dog. And subhanAllah, the, the Arabic language is so sensitive that one must be able to recite each and every single letter properly, join the letters together, whatever they are supposed to. And many sets of rules you have to follow in the Holy Quran. And alhamdulillah, I am so happy for all of you all that you got... Uh, the desire in yourself to take time out and uh, work on the Holy Quran Kareem, that is something that not everyone gets the blessing to do so. And Alhamdulillah, Dr. Ihabi, he is a very busy man. And Alhamdulillah, he took his time out to teach you all. So you should be thankful and grateful to him as well. Be thankful and grateful to him as well. And always remember, my dear brothers and sisters, your teachers that you have, they are your, your lifeline. They are the ones who are, like Dr. Ihabi was mentioning, that the Quran came from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to Angel Jibreel alayhi salam, to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And through our teachers, it slowly, slowly got to us. So we also have the connection uh, to Rasulullah sallallahu to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And alhamdulillah, your connection to them all, because he is your teacher, is Dr. Rihabi. So it's very important you respect your teachers. Even after this class is done, keep in contact with your teachers. They are the ones, when they make a dua for you, that dua you will see in your life and the benefit of those duas. So this is my message for you all today. I also, alhamdulillah, learned Quran. Sheikh Muhammad al Faruqi learned the Quran. But the, 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 our teachers that we have is our lifeline. And I, well, this is my uh, you know, message for you all today. Do not forget your teachers, especially the ones who taught you the Quran. Even a single ayah, even a single ayah they taught to you, they are your lifeline. Please keep them in your dua. Please keep connection with them. You will see the benefit in your life. 
May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept from all of you. Uh, congratulations to everyone. Congratulations and jazakallah khair to Dr. Rihabi Shaykhana. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaykum as salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. khair. Habib Furqan said, may Allah bless you and thank you so, uh, so much for your kind words. May Allah bless you, inshallah. Imam Farooqi Muhammad, we are a little bit behind. So we need to make it short, inshallah, and uh, jazakallah khair in advance. Bismillah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I hope everybody can hear me, inshallah. Yes. Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala Sayyidina Rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi man wa ala. It's a blessed opportunity that I'm here in the presence of all of you brothers and sisters. And uh, the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is Mubarak. It is blessed. And whatever the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has touched is also Mubarak. It is also blessed. So today, subhanAllah, the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has touched all of your hearts at the present moment. And inshallah, for the rest of our lives, all of your hearts are Mubarak. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to keep it that way. And one thing that I want to mention very quickly, inshallah, because of the time crunch, there are five things that the scholars of Islam has to have told us that there are five ways in which the Muslims, as Muslims, we abandon the Quran. Uh, number one is Hajru Sama'ihi, the one that we abandon the Quran in the way that we do not, we stop listening to the Quran. And this is the first step, right? Or actually, that would be the second step. The first step is that you listen to the Quran, the second step that you guys are doing right now. And that is to learn the tajweed, the, 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 the tajweed of the Quran, how to properly recite the Quran. And the credit for all of this goes to Shaykhana Dr. Rihabi. The second is Hajru Amila Bihi, that the abandoning of acting upon the Quran. Once we learn how to read the Quran, then this comes into play, that we start to understand the Quran. That's the next step. Bi'ithnillah, you know, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to progress us that way in our journey. Then we have uh, a hajjul uh, that we abandon, we stop using the Quran, right, as a, a legal maxim in a whole. That we, start, we stop using the Quran the way it's supposed to be used. To, be, to, be, uh, to become a muhkim for all of our matters, right? And so this is what the imams, the teachers of the Qur'an, this is what we are for, right? We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us from those who fulfill this duty properly. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, uh, again, you know, then there is the, the bringing the Qur'an into our personal life, right? Bringing it into action, not just outwardly, but inwardly as well. Because the Quran is a majmu' al kitab, right? It is, it is, the you know, it, it is a book that has all the knowledge that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala blessed this world with. Everything of that knowledge can be found. The basis of that knowledge can be found inside of the Quran. And so, to be able to act upon the Quran, right, in our personal life, that means that we take the lessons of tazkiyah from the Quran and we implement that in our lives. Then, lastly, that we have. Uh, abandoning the seeking of healing from the Quran, right? These are the five things that the ulama said that these are five ways that Muslims abandon the Quran in their lives, right? Imagine, you know, if we truly took coronavirus, right? As it is, right? It's weak. In, in front of the Quran, it's weak. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he said in the Quran, وَنُنَزِّلُ مِنَ الْقُرْآنِ مَا هُوَ شِفَاءٌ وَرَحْمَةٌ لِلْمُؤْمِنِينَ that we have revealed verily in the Quran that that which is a healing and it brings it's a mercy for the believers. And so Imam, Imam, uh, Imam Hanifa, he is reported to have said that if the people of the, 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 the later times, those times that are near the, the, the near the uh, near the Yom, uh, Yom Al Qiyamah, that if they only did one thing that one action will protect them from the calamities that will befall upon them on the day of judgment or near the day of judgment. And that is, he said, that they must not leave the Qur'an. That they must not leave the Qur'an. And so, you know, this is our journey. We have begun this journey of trying to understand the Qur'an, trying to learn the Qur'an uh, in the best way possible with the best of teachers, mashallah. Uh, and so we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept from us, to make us from those people who are guided on the straight mm -hmm. path. 
whose hearts mm-hmm. are filled with the love of the Quran. I mean, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you so much, yeah. Imam uh, Muhammad al-Fawr. Yeah. I love this, inshallah. Thank Allah you. Very yeah. uh, now, with our respected brother, uh, ISGS president, may Allah bless him, brother Ayman Kabir, the one who is always supporting all the programs and he is doing, mashallah, great, great job, mashallah. May Allah bless him, increase him in khair and in barakah, give him barakah for his life, for his health, for his family. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. I would like to hear from him, inshallah ta'ala, as Misku Al-Qitam, uh, and we wanted to honor him uh, to to like, to close our, our program with his, inshallah, uh, words and wisdom, bi'ithni Allah ta'ala. Bismillah ya sadi. Allah, jazakum Allah khayran. Bismillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa ala. Allah bless you all. Jazakumullah khairan for taking the time to join the program today. Uh, we begin by thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the opportunity uh, that he bestowed upon us. One, to be here together, alhamdulillah. For the opportunity to take this Tajweed intensive class. For the opportunity to have Dr. Irhabi, alhamdulillah, in Houston to offer this great class uh, for all of the community, alhamdulillah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he reminds us that the one who's not thankful to the people is not thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we are thankful to our scholars, our shiuch, alhamdulillah, may Allah bless them in health and wealth for all that you do day in and day out. And especially Dr. Irhabi for this great program and teaching us the rules and the guidelines of how to read the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Jazakum Allahu khairan, Dr. Irhabi. May Allah bless you in health and wealth, bless your family. Second, I want to congratulate all of the students. Uh, may Allah bless you all. This step that you have taken is momentous. This step that you have taken is not an easy step. And subhanAllah, we're humbled today to be here witnessing your graduation from the intensive class. It does not stop here. This is just the beginning of a journey as we heard from our scholars. May Allah be pleased with them. Uh, but we need to take some practical steps to carry on, inshallah. Two things I want to share with you. One, you should commit to have a word, a daily word, where we read the Quran every day, whether it's half a page, whether it's a full page, two pages, whatever capacity you have. This needs to be your connection with the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now that you've learned the rules, you will embellish them, inshallah, and make them even better day in and day out. If you don't and you neglect it, it's very hard to catch that tajweed and to remember it. So remember that, inshallah. That's number one. Number two, wherever you are, look for the Islamic center nearest to you. As our Sheikh Farooq Malik mentioned, we have so many scholars, alhamdulillah, in town. Demand that your Islamic center have the avenues for you to recite the book of Allah, to have the tajweed in place, and have an imam or a qari listen to you. Please demand that from your administration, from the imam of the masjid. We'll make sure that these services are available, inshallah, to the community. Then I want to just say that, alhamdulillah, we have one main stay in our organization and our community and as Muslims, and that is continuous improvement. Min al-mahdi ila al From the moment we are born until we are in the grave, we are on a continuous improvement journey. We are learning. I was so pleased and my heart, subhanallah, was warmed when I learned that there are people ages 14 all the way to 70 plus, 78 years old taking this class. May Allah be pleased with all of you. So please, let's continue with this journey of learning ta'ala. And I know we're short in time. We're going to have to go and pray Maghrib. I just want to conclude by saying Jazakumullahu khairan. Congratulations. May Allah bless you in health and wealth. And let's continue this journey all together. And let us know what other programs are going to be needed, inshallah, to support our learning and growth and development as a Muslim community here. All together, bi'ithnillah. Again, Sheikh Arhabi, Heartfelt congratulations to you and all the students. May Allah bless your efforts, bless you in health and wealth, and we're looking forward in what's coming next. Bismillah ta'ala. Jazakumullah khair wa salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaykum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Jazakumullah khair and thank you so much, brother Ayman, for your help and support. Always, mashallah, you are in the top. May Allah bless you, inshallah. Thank you so much. As I mentioned to our brothers and sisters, our journey with Quran Karim at the end of this class, we start the real journey, inshallah. We put our step, inshallah, with Quran al-Karim to complete all Quran from the beginning to the end with perfection, inshallah. The same way that Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam recited, the, the same way that Hadrat al-Sahaba and his companions 
recited with him. We, inshallah, we are going to follow their footsteps, inshallah, to recite. اقرأ ورقة ورتل كما كنت ترتل في الدنيا فإن منزلتك في الجنة عند آخر آية تقرأها الله will call us يوم القيامة the angels of رحمة will call us to have our seats in Jannah and to go to the levels of كرام البرر إن شاء الله with the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم and his صحابة جزاكم الله خيرا my respected imams and scholars for joining us for and having this time with, with us to, to encourage us and to encourage our brothers and sisters and to do dua for them and to have this good advice and good, uh, mashallah, words, uh, kind words and wise words, very important. Every single word that our uh, speakers mentioned, it is very important to think about and to take uh, it seriously and practice it, inshallah ta'ala. At the end, we, yes, uh, we plan to have it at from 7 to 7.45, but subhanAllah, always time uh, short. The good, always good moments goes fast. Uh, any one of brothers and sisters who want to share with us anything, please uh, write it down in the chat box. Or uh, we will have only maybe just three minutes. You can unmute yourself and uh, share with us uh, your experience or say a few words, inshallah ta'ala. Just three minutes, inshallah. I don't know if the admin... Uh, uh, yes, Sheikh, I just want to say Jazakallah uh, khair. Um, it was it was a beautiful time. I look forward to, inshallah. It made me, inshallah, look forward to uh, starting going back to Quran and learning Allah Subhanallah. Sometimes when I open the Quran, uh, things that I picked it up from your class and I learned it, it made a big difference for me. Jazakallah khair. Thank you, Sister Zamzam. May Allah bless you, inshallah. Brother Abdullah Khan here. Salam alaikum. I just wanted to say May Allah bless you for all your efforts and hard work in teaching us so brilliantly. I still remember even though you were sick on the first day, you still went on and to do the class and you are such a big inspiration. May Allah protect you and preserve you and give us all hidayah, guidance to learn from what you have taught us about Tajweed so well. We are so proud of you, Brother Abdullah. You are our future scholar and future great Imam, inshallah. We are so proud of you. May Allah bless you and your family. Anyone else? I have a doctor. Yalla, bismillah. Ka bismillah. Awal shi, awal, inna awal dars akhattu maak. Ana ba'arif illa wa al-arabi. The first time I took it with you, I, I cried. I cried because the letters, I am a, an originally Arabic speaker, but the way God gave us the sound system and the way the letters, the purity in, in the way you taught us the knowledge of the letters and everything, that was mesmerizing for me. And I really cry. And I thank you from my heart that you gave me this feeling that this is the journey that I, it's the beginning and inshallah I will continue. And I wish I will continue it with you. Thank you so much and God bless you. Jazakallah khair. I mean, all of you will be, inshallah, great teachers to teach, inshallah. Khairukum man ta'allam al-Quran wa alam. I'm so, so happy and glad to, to, to have you all. May Allah bless you. Anyone else? Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Yeah, brother Ibrahim, then brother uh, Fayyaz, inshallah. Alhamdulillah, Rabbi Alameen. Uh, thank you again. Uh, uh, Teacher, because uh, that's uh, that's my test, my first time I I learned Tajweed. I am originally Africa, West Africa, Senegal, and I live like five minutes to, to Asabiri. Mm -hmm. But because of you, I ask myself many questions. This guy, he's a Muslim like everybody here, but he's very far. But he try not to give his time and teach us the beautiful books. Sometimes I'm very, very, very busy. But when I see at the end of the courses, I see people keep you. And again, you still, you never complain about. Sometimes it's just like, I would like just to take a speech and tell people, please, can you let him go? But finally, I see from your face, you're really happy to stay over. And you have many things to do like everybody here. And I ask myself, I have to do something, it's like, Five years, I didn't teach anybody Quran. I used to teach Quran in different states in the United States before I come here in Houston, in Ohio, Alhamdulillah. But I miss to teach. But finally, from you, I remind and I ask myself, I have to do something for the community. So it's like two weeks I start to teach 
Islamic education in the Sabiri because they do that for us. They bring you very far and do that for all the community. I see many people coming around across the world and it's really something really hard, touched my heart. Mashallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you. Amen. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala every single person who read the book of Quran in the nice way because of you. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala provide you again. Jazakumullah khaira. I don't have nice voice to do that, but at least I learned something from you. And Allah before you, I start with one friend, I just meet him in the Sabirin and I hear his voice and he try not to help me also. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you and bless all your kids, bless all the Muslim who participate this year. Thank you again for you and thanks again for uh, Sabiri, uh, Masjid. Amin. Amin. Thank you so much. Thank you, Brother. Jazakallah. Brother Fayyaz. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah, Sheikh. Wa alaikum as salam. Jazakallah, Sheikh. I just want to say uh, thank you so much. May Allah bless you and your family. Uh, I, I was traveling, but I didn't want to miss this opportunity. Um, and Alhamdulillah, I already provided my feedback, but Alhamdulillah, um, the way you taught us, and Alhamdulillah, I learned a lot from you. Every day, you know, um, I feel so much connected with Quran. Uh, um, like I, after every namaz or so, I just go to Quran and then start, you know, reciting it, Alhamdulillah, just because of this course, just after this Tajweed program, mashallah. Made a big difference in my life. So, Jazakallah khair, shukran. Ameen. May Allah bless you all. Jazakallah khair. Thank you so much. May Allah bless you all. Okay. So, we're done with the three minutes. We'll uh, conclude, inshallah, with this, uh, inshallah, uh, few minutes also from this video. And we'll, we're done, inshallah. We'll see you, inshallah, with other. Uh, uh, make it heavy. Mean Allah is Fatha and Dhamma will make her always heavy. Kasra always make her. Some people do. Lakinna. Lakinna. Okay. So we cannot make it. Why? Because no and me comes from the nose. Uh, we. I. Do. Do. Okay. Okay. أم تريدون أن تسألوا رسولكم كما سئل موسى من قبل ومن بعثر بعثر أميرنا أميرنا أميرت أميرت يغفر يغفر يصبر Yasbir bi musaytir bi musaytir. Look at this. Haq wa tab al hajj ashad. So you are telling if it's the last is the mushadad, then you do kalkala. If it's the middle, you can't. Yes, ma'am. Yes. So, brothers and sisters, Jazakumullah khairan and may Allah bless you. I would like to uh, thank everyone for his effort. You did a great job. You did a great job, mashallah. A big thank you, Jazakallah khair. Uh, I think it's yeah. on behalf of all the students, your effort, your patience, your dedication, your energy comes through, and uh, we really appreciate it. And I, I learned so much, and I'm so excited. Jazakallah khair. Indeed. Indeed. Jazakallah khair. And Jazakallah khair for all of your helps and for your pro positive personality and for encouraging us. May Allah bless you and your family. I mean, I mean, what if you are doing great, you put uh, effort, mashallah, and you will be great teachers. Uh, every one of you will give me a promise to teach at least two, three people, inshallah, from, inshallah. Your, family, from your family members, inshallah. Uh, yes, Al alhamdulillah. Thank you so much. Okay, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Wa alaikum as wa rahmatullah. Wa alaikum as wa rahmatullah. Wa alaikum as wa rahmatullah. Shaykhna, Shaykh Farooq, please uh, make dua for us, inshallah ta'ala. And may Allah bless you, bless our brothers and sisters. And meet yourself, Shaykh Farooq. Yeah, inshallah. One small reminder before we get dua, inshallah. Uh, when we recite the Quran, we got to keep in mind 
that these are the words spoken by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself. The same words repeated by Hazrat Jibrail Amir, the words which are repeated by Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, all Sahaba and all ulama are all the way up to this time. So this is an honor that we should always feel an honor when we decide the Quran and take our time, inshallah, with that. Allahumma aizil Islam of all Muslims. Allahumma aizil Islam of all Muslims. Allahumma man nahiyatahu min nafah yuhir al-Islam. Wa man tawakhayatahu min nafah tawakhahu al-Liman. Allahumma inna nasaluka imanam mustaqimam. Wa fadlan daimam. Wa nadaran rahmatam. Wa aqlan naqiyam. Wa qalban munawwarum. Wa imanan tawfiqa. صلى الله تعالى على رسول خير خلقه محمد وعليه وصحبه وحياته اجمعين برحمته يا رحم الراحمين جزاك الله خير ثانك يو شيخ فاروق برذرز اند سيسترز ماي الله بليس يو ان شاء الله بليز فورغيف مي اف اي ديدنت ريسبوند تو ذا كويشنز اور يور كومنتس ان ذا تشات بوكس بليز كونتاكت مي افتر ذا ذي سيشن افتر وي فينيش ان شاء الله ثرو ايميل اور باي تكست ان شاء الله تعالى سو اي ويل انسر يور كويشنز ان شاء الله اند اني ثينك ايلس May Allah bless you all. Allahumma taqabbal minna inna ka anta samiul alim. In Allahumma taqabbal minna inna ka anta samiul alim. Allahumma taqabbal minna inna ka anta samiul alim. Wa tub alayna inna ka anta tawabu al-rahim. Wa ud alayna bi'awaidika al-husna ya kareem. Wa ja'li al-Quran al-Azim nooran lana wa hujjatan lana fi al-dunya wal-akhira. Jazakum Allah khairan again. Jazakum Allah khairan Ayz J.H. Jazakum Allah khairan brother Ayman Kabir. Jazakum Allah khairan brother and sisters, imams, speakers. We'll see you inshallah in other Uh, program and Ramadan Mubarak to you all. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.